I'm starting to become more and more inclined to, to really feel, really honestly, truly believe that the purpose of my life and my life's goal is just to be happy. And happy for no reason. Meaning, it's not like I have to do something and achieve at something and, and be the best I can be at something in order for me to be happy. The, the purpose is just to be happy. And so the reason for this gets me thinking about spiritual journeys. And so what is a spiritual journey? Well, when one embarks on one, in order for one to embark on one, they need to meditate. And meditate meaning the action of bringing your attention to your mind, watching the thoughts that arise, and having an awareness that those thoughts at the present moment are only thoughts, and this awareness causes the thoughts to fade away. So that's what meditation is, and in order for somebody to embark on a spiritual journey, they need to do that. Um, you can do it uh, when you sit down or lie down and you have a, an alarm set for 10 minutes, 20 minutes, whatever, five minutes at the beginning, two minutes at the beginning. Um, so you do it like that in a controlled manner and just during everyday life while you're washing the dishes, while you're taking a shower, while you're driving. So that's what um, one needs to do if they're to embark on a spiritual journey. And what happens on this journey is, um, is you become awake, you awake to certain truths about uh, life and the universe and, and yourself. And certain truths about, about beliefs that you once had. Um, so this process of meditation, it, we can simplify it to say it's, it's letting go of thoughts. So your thoughts have a lot to do with what you believe, right? Your thoughts are all about what you believe. Um, and so as you go through your life and you come through to certain situations, the thoughts that you have are going to pertain to what you believe in the way that you see the world. So if you're letting go of thoughts and you're causing these thoughts to lose power and, and essentially become less true, that means that your beliefs in the, the previous way that you've viewed the world is going to become less strong, less rigid, less hardened. And when that happens, eventually, all of a sudden, you just are, are going amongst, amongst your day, something happens, and bam, an epiphany just occurs. And I call this a, an awakening or a realization. And it will be about some, some truth about, about life. And it's probably going to um, <clears throat> go against something you believed. So you have this belief that, that um, th this is true about the world and then bam, oh my God, wow, it's, it's not true. I'm, I'm awakened to, to a new truth. So when one meditates and is on a spiritual journey, along the, the path of their spiritual journey, these realizations are going to occur. So this feeling I was talking about when I began this video of realizing that my purpose of life is just to be happy and it's not to succeed in anything in order for happiness it's just just to be happy so I just had this awakening very recently and, it, and it's awesome and these awakenings realizations I'm talking about you really believe them like I really believe this it, it wasn't a, a, some thought that I had one time that, oh yeah, uh, my purpose in life is to just to be happy. No, this was more than just a thought. This was an epiphany. And, and the reason why it occurred is because I meditate all the time. I, I weaken the strength of my thoughts. So my thoughts uh, during my life have constructed this belief that I have to become successful 
and I have to become a good person, and I have to be healthy, and I have to do all these things in order to be happy. That was my, my first belief, my conditioned belief. And then all of a sudden I had an awakening, no. I'm, I'm not on this path to success and then eventually I'm going to be happy. No, I'm just supposed to be happy right now. And this is going to drastically change my life. The way I used to live was basically I had this internal alarm system. And regarding my work, um, maybe my writing or my, my website, videos like these, um, if I hadn't done anything productive regarding these things in the recent past, I would get this uneasy feeling. And it, it wouldn't be pleasurable at all. It would make me feel bad. And I would need to, to replace this feeling. I would need to erase it. So what I had, I had to do was I had to do some work. I had to do some writing. I had to do a video, write an article. And um, when I did do the work and I achieved something, then I would get this, this sort of high feeling, this ecstatic feeling. And it would last for a while, and then it would go away. And then I would need to do something else. So it's always just work, 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 feel content for a little while, and then need to work again because I, I have this inner drive that's just constantly there. And now, with this realization, this, this awakening, it's all changed. Now I can still do those same activities, but it's, it's the reason why I'm doing them is, for, is different. The reason isn't that I'm, I, I need to succeed. I need to be productive. It's just because I want to do it. I like doing this stuff. And if I don't really want to do something now, I'm, I'm not doing it. I'll just, in, in a spot like, say I hadn't done any writing in a while, in a couple of days. And, um, I mean, I do want to finish my book, so I do gotta, I do gotta put in some work. Um, so, if the feeling comes, well, I, I gotta get busy, I gotta get moving, I gotta do some work. If that feeling comes, what I will do is I'll, I'll listen to those thoughts, I'll watch those thoughts, I'll be aware of them as just being thoughts, and I'll let them go. I'll let them lose their power. I'll meditate. And what happens when I do that is then all of a sudden, well, now I want to do some writing. And it never fails. It hardly ever fails. If it does fail, then I won't do the writing. And then eventually I'll get the, the desire to do it and then I'll do some work. And so this points to the merits of, of meditation and, and a spiritual journey. You're going to have these awakenings, realizations about truths of, of living in the universe. And they're just going to make your life so much better. So please embark on a spiritual journey. Please begin to... Um, meditate. Just realize that the thoughts in your mind at the present moment are only thoughts. And that realization is going to make them lose some power and they're going to go away. They, they'll come back but you just repeat the process and eventually they're going to lose power and eventually you're just going to have these epiphanies. Just randomly. Se seemingly randomly. And these epiphanies are going to change your life for the, drastically for the better.